Well, scorpions kill more than 3,000 people each year, according to the Journal of Pediatric Research. But one Egyptian entrepreneur has found a way to cash in on the eight-legged arachnids, hunting some of the most dangerous in the world for their prized venom. Mateo Kwaripe has more. Ahmed Abu Al Saud spent 20 years in the oil and gas sector, but he switched professions to a different kind of lucrative liquid. The mechanical engineer now tracks scorpions in the deserts of Egypt, hoping to capture the eight-legged creatures and carefully extract their prized venom. We use an electrical device that reduces 220 volt of electricity to a lower voltage. We connect the wire from this device to the tail of the scorpion to stimulate it as a risk until the scorpion produces poison to protect itself. The venom is extremely difficult to collect. Sayut and his team have to milk up to 3,500 scorpions to get just one gram. But they can sell it for as much as $7,500. The venom is so valuable because of its medical properties. This area that we're in is full of a type of a scorpion called Laureas, which have about 45 components in their poison. In laboratories in Europe, it's used to detect and treat cancer cells and some brain and heart diseases. Sayud's lab houses about 20,000 scorpions, which can be milked every 20 to 30 days. The arachnids were collected with the help of locals. Sayud pays his scorpion hunters around 6 to 10 cents per specimen. When I get scorpions from the hunters, we divide them according to the areas they come from. I separate the species and put them in cages according to their food requirements. I also track the last extraction date so the scorpions aren't exhausted and we get a good product. Sayut is planning to start breeding scorpions in the coming months instead of relying on those caught in the wild. That way he can ensure his supply of profitable poison never runs dry. Mateo Kwaripe, TRT World.